historic day of Mandelo Park in Ireland because this is the first time that the new international circuit is to be used. Historic also because the Welsh Sports and Salute Card Championship have come to the County Kildare circuit with a fascinating variety of machinery. Just coming on to pole position there, Alvin Powell in the ex-Radishes car, but already in trouble, Mike Shallow in the Davrian, calling it at the pits after the warm-up lap, but turning on through, he don't really know what was the problem there. He joins the grid now in consultation with his mechanics there, some minor problem, but here they are on the grid on pole position then, Alvin Powell, alongside him, Peter Dock, the Welsh champion, and making a tremendous start in the big uh, V8 Cobra there. The from London, that's Chen Ling. Alvin Powell recovering into third place as they go out into the country for the first time. And this is the full 2.8 uh, mile circuit. A tremendous achievement for Mandela Park to have opened this track. And the big V8 Cobra really finding its feet on this track now. Coming down into the double apex right-hander turn three, we can see that Peter Dark is tailing in a little mini there going through number 22. That's Mark Chandler from Cambridgeshire, who's making the lightweight E-type uh, look a little bit minute at the moment. All 4.7 litres of the big round Cobra replica being used as they go out onto the new part of the circuit. And tailing him, Peter Dark, the current Welsh champion in the Darien Cosworth Turbo. But the real danger man there is Alvin Powell and the ex Paul Radishes Mondeo. Down they come now into the double right hander. And the Cobra, a lot of car to get stopped there. The Darien a little bit more nimble. The uh, circuit is very, very slippery at the moment, a lot of dust on it. And uh, Alvin really now pressurizing with much better brakes than these two cars. Coming now into the S's. Flat out, listen to that little machine hum. Second right hander, and then quite a straight now before they come back onto the old circuit. And one of the fastest corners on the track is right hander. And Lim really handling this big Cobra very well indeed. And look at Alvin Powell looking up side down the inside. A nice overtaking maneuver slips up into second place in the Mondale. And Peter Dark almost losing it there, getting a big twitch on in the Darien as he shadows the Mondeo down the main straight to complete the first lap. But no problems at all for Cheng Lim. And this is really the threat. Alvin Powell having problems just commanding that car around the twists of Mandela Park. But look at that big Cobra. The big low growl of the V8 really putting a little bit of distance. I was about to say distance, but once again the Mondeo closes in on the braking, as does the Darien. And this is a fascinating three-car battle there with the Cosworth-powered Darien now looking for a way past the Mondeo. Adverse camber as they go on to the new circuit here. And the Cobra really having to fight it and feed on the power, but where is Powell gone? Powell right off the circuit there, quite strange. He looked to be on sighted, but uh, the Paul Radish's car, really we see it now in replay. No damage done, but just out into the dirt and making it very difficult for the pursuing mob, who are now quite a bit behind these top three. So Alvin Powell has a lot of work to do again now as he sets out in pursuit of the Cobra and the Darien. And the Darien ever constant behind this brutal big machine, fabulous machine, a replica of course, not one of the original Cobras which would cost about 65, 70,000 pounds. These replicas can be picked up in full racing trim for about 25,000 pounds. A lot more expensive, that ex-British touring car. Once again, he locks up the brakes. And really, obviously, his inexperience showing in this car, but a potentially uh, winning car. Great little Welsh battle going there between Grancel Williams and his MR2 and regular Irish visitor, Clive Hayes. But we're back with the leaders as they come up towards the end of their second lap. And once again, the Mondeo is looking very threatening as it comes up the outside this time. No space there. Darian uh, quite rightly holding on to his line, and uh, Alvin Powell will just have to wait. Off they go on lap three. Once again, the Cobra getting the legs in the straight, getting the power down early there. Another interesting battle here. This is, in fact, for fourth place at the moment, and it's the man who was on the second and third row of the grid, uh, Graham Peddock, in his Cougar Jaguar, being shadowed by the lightweight E-type Jaguar of Richard Abels. Cobra still leads.
And once again now up into second place. How is he going to get around there? It's going to take a bit of guts, but he's got the road holding and he keeps the foot in, runs out a little bit of road, but offs his way into second place. But uh, once again, the Darien trying around the outside. Can he tuck back across the bars? A little bit of contact there between the Mondeo and the Darien. And the Mondeo, this is where he went off on the last lap. He's got to be careful here. He runs out of road. The Darien slots in. There's really tremendous racing here as they go out onto the new part of this track. And once again, he goes right round the outside. That was a brave move. Tires heated up now. Brakes working fully. And it just shows the superior... Oh, and the Cobra's gone. Cha Lim, big spin there. That must have been an exciting moment in that huge piece of metal. We see it again in replay. And we see that Alvin Power was really lucky not to make contact as the big motor car went around. So Lim uh, moves down into third place. We have a new leader in Alvin Powell, the man who was in pole position. Now can he just walk away into the distance? The pressure's off. But Peter Dark trying to keep him in his sights in the Cosworth engine, engine Darien. And of course the Darien's built in Wales, very successful in both racing and rallying over the years. Peter Dark late on the brakes there, choosing a rather tight line as he came into the final turn. Now they go on to lap four, and there is the recovering number 14, Mike Shallow, who came from the back of the grid up now into fourth place. Remember, he started from the pit lane, so that's an excellent drive. This Darien has a different engine configuration, the two-liter Vauxhall engine, and he's now carrying the big 4.7 V8 Ford engine of the uh, Cobra. Two very contrasting types of motor car. The nimble Darien uh, going very quickly and probably better road holding, possibly better braking too. And the Cobra, you can see that dramatically as he outbreaks him right round the outside. A tremendous maneuver there, and really, um, Chung Lim must be uh, getting a bit of fatigue in the tyres and in the brakes on this demanding circuit. You can see Chandler in the background there, who uh, is in fifth place, Graham Chandler, in the Mini. So, 14, uh, really the recovery drive so far, Mike Cello from Agobaveni, and there's uh, Lim in number three in the ultimate AC drive, as it says, and that really has got to be the exciting ride of the weekend as he tries to tame this motor car. Meanwhile, out in the lead, Alvin Powell is pulling away a little bit now from the Welsh champion Peter Dark in the other Darien. Looking at number eight going through, that's Richard Abels in the E-Type. And number 31, he's got ahead of Graham Piddock now in the Cougar engine Jaguar, one of two of those types of motor cars in the field. The other one just being in the background there. So the leader having lapped the second of the Cougars, and indeed, Peter Dark now peel off another lap. And these two really way out on their own. But it's far from over. As you can see, that Peter Dark really late on the brakes down into turn one that time. He's really still trying, as you can see, the tail of the little Cosworth engine car shooting out there under acceleration. So, Alvin Powell really obviously having an anxious glance in his mirrors once or twice. And this, of course, is the two-liter normally aspirated full uh, British touring car spec car the Mondeo not being the most successful car in the last two seasons but this car being highly successful having won the world championship uh, super touring round at the Monza circuit in the hands of Paul Radishish so there he is the Welshman now the proud owner of this car still in the same works colors that it used to race in uh, making it all look comparatively easy after his fraught early laps. So he, like everybody else, learning this new magnificent circuit, much wider part of the course, but still Peter Dark hasn't given up hopes of victory, far from it. And once again, he closes in on the twisty bits as his tail-happy Darien uh, fights for grip on this new circuit. So, just to recap, in first place, Alvin Powell, second, Peter Dark, then a long way back, Chem Ling from Essex and the big Cobra, who's still fighting off the attentions of Mike Shallow. And up they come to complete another lap, just about onto the old circuit again, and uh, getting it very sideways there. Alvin Powell, remember it's a two-liter front-wheel drive car against the uh, Cosworth-powered rear-wheel drive Darien. 
and once again they go on and it's closer than ever as they go on to their last lap now and down into turn one and uh, Peter Dock really putting on the pressure now looking down the inside no gap being left by Alvin Powell as Peter Dock once again puts the power down and gets that little Darien a little bit sideways as they go out into the country now. And Powell looking very threatening. And this is where he could do it. He can close up under braking at this point. Powell taking the wide line. He's got the line now. The late apex of this corner. And, in, and indeed, uh, Dark had to come off the throttle just a little bit, just when he didn't need to, coming up the hill there. Let's hope Alvin Powell has learned his lesson about this long left-hander. He tucks it in much neater this time, out towards the cab, but plenty of room to spare. And Dark is really going to have to go for it now. He's not going to be able to do too much in this section. And this is where the Mondaire can stretch its legs. And it's pulling away as it goes out over the hill. Now one of the fastest parts of the circuit down into the double right-hand hairpin. And once again, the Darien should be able to close a little bit in this section, as it has. On the power, up over the hill again. And into the S's now. Mondeo locking up the rear wheel, front wheel drive, of course. And the Darien, that was his big chance. He was inside there. And possibly his last chance, he'll have one more hope on the last corner as he comes up the hill, but he's got to get closer to that Mondale. Number 14 there, Mike Shallow. And he's up into third place, he's past the Cobra. The Cobra probably running severely out of brakes at this point. And the little swift tune mini of Mark Chandler really doing a David and Goliath act there as it goes up over the hill. Back with the leaders, in the last corner, Peter Dark's last chance. He's not going to be able to do it. But Darian tails out of the corner towards the checkered flag. Alvin Powell has won it from pole position. Peter Dark in second place. It's going to be Mike Shallow. There he is, number 14 in third place. Now a long way ahead of the Cobra. Will the Cobra be fourth? We have to wait and see. And here comes the mighty machine over the hill with Mark Chandler in fifth place. And so the Welsh Sport and Saloon Car Championship makes a big impression at Mandelo Park on their first visit.